Okay, so yes, I'm in, so yes, I'm in uh, Trujillo, which is a small town, um, but it was bustling and it had a nice central square and, um, and uh, yeah, it would have been, I heard it was really good surfing too, like maybe 70 miles north of it was like the one of the longest surf breaks in the world, it was like really long, but I didn't do any surfing, I actually didn't even ride all the way down to the ocean, no, no, I did, but, uh, but there's this uh, ruins northeast of the town that were amazing. Um, they, they had like a, a, a model of the king. He was very intricately ornamented, this big golden round thing on his head. It was like the sun king and gold and everything. And there were these two dogs in the little place where I had to buy my ticket that were, didn't have any hair on them. And I walked through and it was like this big maze and um, the, the walls were around the whole thing we're still standing like 30 feet high and it just i mean in its heyday it would have been just huge amazing and um yeah it was like walking through a labyrinth the walls were still there the carvings on the wall were still perfect and beautiful and and even the central square where they had the garden it was kind of like the garden of eden and it still had stuff growing in there because they had it dug really deep and uh, there was still water there and um yeah very beautiful and very big and then I rode my bike a little bit uh, away, a couple of couple hundred meters away, or maybe a mile towards the west, and there was actually a pyramid that I stood on the top of and looked around and uh, rode my bike actually to the top of. And then I rode a little bit across uh, to Trujillo to the other side of it, southeast of it, to this other huge pyramid. It was like the pyramid. I mean, huge, huge, huge building. It was like... It was like... Uh, 200 meters long it was still like 60 70 feet high or 100 feet high or something i mean it would have been like a multi-level like building at its time um and then there was another temple pyramid thing that was uh close to it also and uh yeah it was uh i kind of liked it i kind of got a good vibe from trivia and then I decided I'd go to Uraz, Uraz, Peru, and I decided not to ride there. It would have been an amazing ride, way up in the mountains. And I stayed in Uraz, Peru for six weeks. Uraz, Peru is one of my favorite places in the whole world that I've ever been. Maybe I should go back. And I, I got, I came there, and I stayed at one hotel room. You know, and there were some like lots of travelers. There's a lot of tourists in like hotels there. And um, and then I saw this, uh, I was riding down my, my bike down the road, and some Swiss guy on, on a bike ran up to me and was like, hey, dude, what's up? I know of a cool place you can stay. So he took me to this other place, which was really cool, because it had this cool, like, hangout area outside. And so I stayed there six weeks, and I had all kinds of different friends there, some German friends, some um, French Swiss girls were really cool there. And I had a good old, jolly old time. We were making Pisco Sours and partying every night, and... It was fun, and I went on a few mountain bike rides, like up because Peru, like Uraz, is like in a valley, surrounded by mountains on either side. And so I'd ride my bike way, 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 way up in the mountain, like switchbacks up the trail, um, on either side, and then and like zoom down, and then I went down to the. I guess so there was a town there, and I didn't do the tour, and I wish I did because it got there was this like, <clears throat> I, I guess like a earthquake or a landslide or something that totally covered up the entire town and just buried everything and you can walk around it and it's like you're and, and you can only see the tops of like the buildings and the tops of the of the uh of the uh you know um churches and stuff but anyway near there that i tried to ride up to go over this pass it was like a fifteen thousand foot pass or something and i tried it twice and i I couldn't do it once because it was like snow on the top, and then I did another time I got like altitude sickness. But I wanted to do this big bike tour where I went over the pass and then down around and over. But I was kind of lazy when I was there. I couldn't get up, and it was kind of more like just to relax and have fun with all my friends. Um, and oh, and I did the uh, oh, 421, crazy. Then I did the um, there was this uh, French kid who I did the uh, paragliding with. We took a bus down, and it was interesting, these little minivans you, you, you ride down, um, you have to put your name in it, because I guess like every three weeks, one of those minivans drives into the river and everybody dies, and the only way to find out who was in the river, who was in the minivan and died, is to uh, look at the, their log book. So, but it didn't seem to me like they were driving all crazy. Um, but 
Yeah, we went to some town and we when we paid some or we hitchhiked some guy in a pickup to drive us way way up to the top, um, you know, up on the top of the uh, valley there, overlooking all those huge mountains. The highest mountain in all of Peru is actually right there. And I was thinking about climbing it, but uh, and I saw some American kids there who were going to climb it, and I should have climbed it with them. But anyways, so yeah, we take off, but the first time we didn't make it, and he fell on top of me, and I sliced my finger open, but then we found a better place to do it. And uh, it was fun. We, were, we flew. Her gliding was amazing. And he actually let me fly it. He's like, here, you fly. <laughs> so I grabbed it, and I'm turning around, and we go right over a tree. And then he's, there, we, we're looking down at the, at the uh, there's a soccer field in the, uh, some town, and there's all these people playing soccer. And he's like, yeah, we're going to land there. And I'm like, but they're playing soccer. He's like, oh, don't worry. They'll let us do it. <laughs> so we come down, and I'm like, I'm like, and I was like going to be the first person to land. Like my feet were going to touch before his because I was like below him. So I'm like, I'm like, okay, here we go. And so then I land, and gee, 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 gee. and they all just stopped the soccer game. I guess we were kind of like the entertainment. <laughs> so um, and then we uh, pulled the thing aside, and then he rolled he rolled it up, and there was all these people watching us, and that was fun. It's only 20 bucks too. And so, anyways, but then I got sick there. I don't know. Then I left all of a sudden. And I didn't climb any of the mountains or do any of the treks, because a lot of people do treks there. But I saw, you know, enough of my stuff from all the mountain biking I did. But um, I was sick both times my German friends went to do treks and climb the mountains. But I did hang out with my uh, my Swiss friend. He wanted to hang out with me, go to see, check out his house and hang out with him, and I kind of felt bad. But I didn't do that. But he came over and hung out with us once. But one day, he uh, we went and we climbed... Uh, this 5,000 meter mountain that was like right next to Huras. And we started really early that morning and he was he was running like every single day, like 10 miles, training for a marathon. And he was totally fit, like totally kicked my ass up the hill. He had to like wait for me, which is kind of emasculating for me because I'm used to being a stronger guy. But you know, I wasn't riding my bike at all, so I wasn't in shape at that time. But we go to the top of this mountain and, uh, you know, snow up on the top of it and we cook something up up there. And, and then we run all the way back down, downtown. It was a huge trip. It was awesome. And uh, running down through like huts of Indians, checking out how they look, live really basically in these little round huts. It's kind of like the hobbits um, living off the land. It was pretty. And then we went back into town, and uh, I think we did some baths first. But then went back into town, and that was cool. Uh, um, and then, um, I was, I should have ridden my bike, um, from there to Lima because it was amazing. It would have been a beautiful trip, beautiful bike tour. I didn't do bike touring in any of the most beautiful parts, but whatever, I was lazy. So then, yeah, so I took the bus and it went down, 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 down. And I realized that what I thought was north the whole time was actually south. It was kind of weird. <laughs> But uh, then I was in Lima, and I stayed in this really interesting hotel in Lima. It was uh, right next to the plaza, the, one of the central plazas. They had two. Normally, they don't have two, but the one closer to the hill there. But um, yeah, I went up on the. It was like on the top of a building, and it was like very on the way up on the top. They had all these gardens, and you could see the skies. So it was kind of like you felt like you were like in a totally peaceful little town, you know, even though you're in a city. And they had these couple of these uh, turtles walking around, and they had like movies playing every night. And I saw there were some traveler people that I was kind of hung out with. Different. It's, it's cool traveling like places like that because it's like all these people share beds in the room, so you know it's really like intimate. Um, uh, traveling, man. It's been so long since I've traveled. Like seven years. I can't believe it. I never thought that I'd get stuck in Chile for five years and then. Whatever, it's cool. I'm not complaining. I had fun. I had a beautiful wife. Anyway, um, then I uh, uh, went. I rode my bike all over. You know, it was like eight miles from the central part of the town down to the ocean. So I rode down there, down to some like trail bike path. Kind of went right in the middle of this highway, all the way down. And uh, Lima was beautiful. I love Lima. Lots of people like to complain. They're like, oh, it's ugly. But you know, it's got a lot of the garua, the fog. But that's not smog, it's just fog. So you can't see very far at all, you know, like us. The most polluted city in the world that way. But, um, ooh, I think this video's over. I'll have to continue later.